So there is this really popular software called File Converter. This is a free and open source program and it can convert any files, video, audio, photo, even documents. And the main reason why this is so popular is that using this, you can convert your files easily just by selecting and right clicking the file. So once I have the software installed, I can select the file that I want to convert. Let's say for example, this photo, I can right click and I'll have this option called file converter and I can convert this image to some other format. Now there is a small problem, not with the program, but some information about the software that we have put out as a content creator in the past. Actually, something has changed about this software that I think everyone needs to know. So I did a video on this software almost like three years ago in 2022. And look at the URL of the software. This is where you download the software, okay? And even another popular uh, tech YouTuber made a video on this software about six months ago, all right? Chris Titus, okay? And check out the URL, fileconverter.org. And same goes here that I made three years ago, okay? It didn't change. But recently, if you go to this website, the same website that we have shown in our tutorial video, we are on the same website, okay, fileconverter.org, but the software isn't the same. I don't want to download this here, so what I'm going to do here is actually open the virtual machine and let's download the software, okay? We're going to go to the same website, all right? Now I'm going to download the software. You might think that this is the file converter, but this is not a file converter. Okay, there it is. It is called Zamar. At least they are being honest that this is not a file converter. But the website design and the information actually stays the same, almost the same. It still looks like a file converter, even says here file converter. But this thing is not a file converter anymore that we all know. <laughs> okay, so let me install this. Okay, it is installed. It says run Zamar. I'm not going to run it. I know that I have installed it. Let's try to convert something. Right click. Uh, do we have convert? Yeah, we have a convert option. Uh, we can convert it to something else. It is converting. Oh, it works just like the original, uh, you know, uh, file converter. But there is another problem. It is actually a paid software now, but this isn't the same software. Maybe the guy who made <laughs> the software made this software for the Zamar company. Okay. But now here is the problem. Uh, again, as I said, if you didn't get it, this is a paid software. Uh, let's go to the website again. And uh, here, if we go to the description of the software, the software is free to download and, and convert your first 25 files for free. And after that, you'll have to pay for it. Okay, that's that. So if you go even deeper, uh, let's say, for example, at the bottom, this site was previously hosted the open source file converter project maintained by this guy. So basically now this website is sold or I don't know, somehow owned by a different company called Zamar. I don't know if the name of the company is Zamar, but this isn't the same thing. Okay, this website is no longer the website to download the file converter. This has changed to converter.io. You know why I'm making this video? Some people are actually getting confused and someone actually recently uh, posted a comment on my previous video that I made on this software. This guy now not working at all. So basically he downloaded the wrong software. You know, previously it was hosted at fileconverter.org and that's the website we showed to everybody when we made the tutorial. If you want to download the original file converter, it's still here, but the website is changed now. There is the new website called fileconverter.io.org is now owned by someone else. Uh, and uh, there is a premium software now, which works kind of similarly, but you have to pay for it. But the good thing is that our original <laughs> file converter is here, which we can now download from uh, fileconverter.io and also from github we should like go to the github and then download from the github because this will not change okay <laughs>
<laughs> this will never change, I hope so. But you can see, this is now the official website for the file converter. Even I accidentally downloaded the wrong converter. Uh, I didn't know that this was sold out or whatever happened. I'm, I'm not gonna criticize the developer here for selling. I don't know if he sold it or, I don't wanna talk about this, okay? Since we made the tutorial and we used this website, uh, I think it's our responsibility to just correct everything. I'm gonna have to change the link, you know, that I provided on my website and the YouTube description and all that, because this thing is gone. Yeah. You know, file converter is still here. I don't know what's going on in the background. I don't want to talk about it. All right. But good thing is that this guy, Adrian, yeah, <laughs> finally working on uh, this project again. Actually, he had abandoned this project for years now but now finally after many years he's starting to work on this project again and updating this and all that okay we have to appreciate that for keeping the software up to date check this out there is a huge gap so last update was in like 2017 which is like six to seven years ago now recently in 2024 march he started updating the software keep it up thank you <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Our file converter is safe, uh, but the hosting website isn't. It's 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 taken by someone else. Okay. <laughs> Again, as I said, I don't want to talk about this. Uh, I mean, you guys are smart. Uh, we all know what happened. I mean, everyone has to pay the bills, right? So yeah but again i'm gonna repeat this again and again our favorite file converter is still free and open source and it's actually getting updates that's all i have to say <laughs> okay hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something you can always do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.